Nani Kruiven gesing het, Dr. Kruiven wat woensdag 79 jaar oud word. Dit is die loting, die opskiet van die minste Burger Geldenhuis en Karel de Plessie in die geselskap van meneer Jimmy Smith, Baltenie scheidsrechter, professor Karel Niewout, die ene vrijensrechter en meneer Francie Muller, die andere vrijensrechter. Wat prachtig, een maaikie wat daar in die kleedkamer gewees het, ek gesien het nou. wat so'n bykie gaan vir hulle vertel precies wat hy verwacht, wat hy nie verwacht nie. Burger Geldenhuis kapteen van Noordtransvaal, vandag in sy 184ste wedstrijd en in sy 11e eindstrijd. Dit is die gesocht op Karibeke. Wie gaan om win? Van Noordtransvaal die drie kunst behaal. Hulle het om in 1987 gewin toe klop hulle Transvaal. Verlede jaar klop hulle die WP op Loftus. Hulle sal baie baie graag dit die drie kunst wil maak. En dit is die span wat gaan probeer om hulle te verhoed die westelike provincie Karel de Plessie, die kaptein van hierdie span Rian Gous in sy heel eerste eindstrijd Kobus Kirsten in sy eerste eindstrijd Patterson in sy eerste eindstrijd en ook Badi Swart in sy eerste eindstrijd Ten een baie ervare Noord-Transvaalse span dit is die geachte staatspresident meneer Ebbie de Klerk en sy eigenote mevrouw Marieke de Klerk by meneer Ronnie Messen van die WP Noord-Transvaal word aangevoer door Burger Geldreis nummer 6. Dit is een fenomenale span, een span wat van jaar alle tegenstand voor een plat geveerd. Werkelijk uitstekende rugby gespeeld het, hierdie span van Noord-Transvaal. 71-3 gedruk het in 14 wedstrijde en net 14-3 afgestaan het. Dit is 1 per wedstrijd, dit is ongelooflik. Slechts Koos Gous sal in sy eerste eindstrijd speel. Tiny, een eindstrijd is altyd een moeilike ding. Chris, ja, maar ek dink vanmiddag die spanne, as die mens die record neem van Noord-Transvaal dier die seizoen, moet hulle opdraf as die gunstelinge, hulle is onoorwonne in die Karibeker wedstrijde wat gespeel is by jaar, en met Naasbota en Johanien is albei in die Noord-Transvaal span, dink ek het hulle twee rechtervoete wat die bal heel wat verder kan skop as die man in die beste provincie kan. Oud springbok vreel meneer Jannie Engelbrecht, bestuurslid van die WP, meneer John Gainsford achterom, die statistiek van 1989. WP het vier wedstrijde verloor, hy het 69-3 gedruk in die Karibeke rugby competitie, 31-3 afgestaan, kyk net Noord-Transvaalse rekord, 14 te speel, 14 gewin, 71-3, en 14-3 tegen hulle burger geld, hy is kapteen van Noord-Transvaal, hy is hys man op die geld, naast Bota, JJ van der Wald, Christus Vangeberg, GPNL, Dion Oosthuisen en Johan Jonas. En nou gaan Nieuwelaan ontplop. Voor sy thuiskare, Karel de Plessie, waar die WP span op die veld gaan leie. En dit is een man wat een groot rol gaan speel van Marat Naasbota. Speel in sy 140ste wedstrijd. Seker die grootste los kakel wat ooit op Suid-Afrikaanse bodem gespeel het. Wil amper sy wereld bodem. Baie vraag is hy fiks, hy lyk goed, hy is altyd een factor. Chris, ja, dit wil my voorkom as op West Provincie die lood gewen het, besluit het om hier van die Jan Pieker paviljoen af te speel en Noord-Transvaal wat dan eerste gaan afskop vanmiddag en dit kan in hulle voordeel tel, want die oomlik wat hulle hier in West Provincie sy hoop te gaan kom, is ek seker daarvan dat naas gaan besluit kom. in sy 108ste wedstrijd vir die WP, 29-jarige vleel van die WP die voorste drie drukker vandag scheidsrechter, 49 jaar oud verkoopsbestuurder van die Oostkaap geboren in Rhodesia, meneer Jimmy Smith Belpen en door Transvaal wat dan in die eerste jaar te saam met die wenkie gaan speel sy debiet vandag, wat Karibeker eindstrijd aan betref, slechts sy derde wedstrijd Rian Gous in sy twee wedstrijde tot dusver het hy 35 punte aangeteken vir die WP. Die Noord-Transvaalse vlag geef die aanduiding van hoe sterk die wijntje is. Gerts Mallet, die meester vir die westelike provincie. Christian Stuis wat drijf. Biskak waargestel, Rian Gous, die eerste aanraking. En sukses vir hom. Die afstand van Noord-Transvaal, miskien een bykie diep hier 
in die gebied van West Wopensie, maar baie goeie beheer daar, die Gersmal en sy mede voorspelers, die Angstraas, wat onmiddellijk ook in daar die Dreisgal betrokken was. Ja, niks wat tot dusver gebeur het, die afgelopen seizoen speler al nie, al wat gaan tel, is wie gaan die Karibekker omhoog hou aan die einde van die wedstrijd. 80 minuut wat voorblij, wat voorblij, dis Oli Schmidt. Hy die ondersteuning daar, prachtig, Robert de Pree naast Bota. En... Dobbes Berger is in positie. Sterk met die linkervoet. En dan BP binnenkant die alfabet van Noord Transvaal, Tom Inderdaad. Dobbes Berger, rechter veel van die BP. Er is baie rugby kinders, meen dat hier die eerste paar minuut belangrijk is vir een span. En ek moet sê dat die beste provincie hier die eerste paar minuut die druk bewerk het en is nou in die helpte van Noord Transvaal. Die eerste lijn staan van die wedstrijd. Die wil die tweede lijn staan van die wedstrijd. Mooi beskutbaar gestel door Jan Goos. Het kan een gevaarlijke skop word. Hier die Michael de Plessie en Fapa Toetse is alweer daar. Waar gaan die uitkom? Noordtransval, prachtig. Goeie werk der pote voor hier. Dat is Christus Pangeberg. Val is nie uit nie. Hans Kriba het vir hom beheer. Naast Bota word teruggejaagd op. Van die kant sy kwart gebied. Baie naas uit die lijn. Hy gaan sy ook recht krij, en dan spot nou maak nie een fout nie. Ja, een prachtige atmosfeer hier op Nieuweland. De mens kan het aanvoel hier ook waar ons sit. Kort links dan Gertsmal deflecteer. Dis Rian Goos, kryf het Jan Strauss. Sy strekt as hy as hy hoogvat is die eerste strafskop van die wedstrijd is Christus Vangeberg. En die hitte van die oomblik. Aftians trouwens, ek dink nie Christo dat so bedoel nie. Ek dink dat gaan die patroon wees hier aan Westbub van sy kant om vooral vir Tian Strauss, Gert Smal en Charlie Marais te betrek hier met Dreispel, Nabij, Sindar, vir Tian Strauss. En as hy grond toe gaan, is dit burgergeld en hy is wat om grond toe bring, maar die hoogpad dan weer Christo Spannenberg. Al baie vir sy selfvertrouwe beteken as hy sukses kan behal met die eerste skop van hom Na 2 minute die voorsprong aan die westelike provincie burgerskap van Breiten sy geboorte dorp ontvang 23 toetse gespeel vir die springbokke dis nie Ligo wat vir hom inwag gedeflekteerd in Andrew Patterson die beet vir hom gehad, Charlie Marais wat vir hom uithaal dis drijwerk hier die westelike provincie Freddy Parara na Rian Goos heel wat tyd op sy beskikking gaan nie vir hom uitskop nie, Johan Jenis is in positie en W. Vister het vannig opgevolg En dit is een uitstekende stikkie werk, weer Johan Jenis. Wat een ervaren speler, prachtig, 31 jaar oud. Die beste provincie van voorspelers wat hier in die eerste vier minuten van hier die wedstrijd baie goeie beheer het, hier in die voorspel en noodtranskaal wat iets wat stadiger begin as normaal het. Uitstekend nie Lego. En dan een misverstand en die voordeel aan noodtranskaal as die BP aangeslaan het. Ja, is al interessant wees, hier die eerste skram waar Bali Swart hier aan ons kant sak tegen Heinrich Rogers en natuurlijk die loskopkant van Besloe Bevinsie, Kubus Kirsten tegen Koos Goos vir die eerste skram. Maar interessant dat Besloe Bevinsie basis die selde taktiek nou toepas wat Noordtranspaal heel jaar toepas het weer ook die gewicht hier na die loskopkant van Noordtranspaal te plaas probleem is allemaal met die eerste skram Freddy Ferrara wat die vinnig genoeg kan optel die pote voor hier doen goeie werk Burger Gelden is wel uithaal, hy gaan beskikbaar kom Gigi van der Wald probeer terugspeel dis Robert de Pree, tegen een weepie man vastgeskoop Alof Malan is daar maar die bal was reeds voor die kantlijn Ons geloof en vertrouw hierdie wedstrijd.
wedstrijd van 80 minuten van hard maar schoon neus wees mannen wat dit kan doen jullie goed is het maar Kobus Karsten dat wil uithouden Adrie Gelden is wat voor een baie pla Michael de Plessie wat kom in storm en hij vloos eindelijk van Noord Transvaal en dit geeft voor Rian Goos geleentheid met een fenomenale schop ja, wij van die mensen hebben gezegd dat Rian Goos is die, misschien die zwak plek hier in Wesley bevindt zijn achterlijn. Maar hier in de eerste vijf minuten speel hij zijn speler wat al in meer dan één finale gespeeld heeft. De eerste zes minuten, dat is vijf lijn staan aan gehad. Die spel is gebaseerd, dat is niet weer kwart lijnen. Freddy Ferrara wat wil optel. Papa Toetsen probeer voor hem los, maar Robert de Prees, de verdediging is bij je vannacht daar. Voorspelers van Noord Frans Vallers vannacht bij. BP gaan voor hem toch krijgen. Niet keer misverstand, Kobus Burger onder druk. Spoedige instrijd voor WP gespeeld in 1980 toen hulle verloor het met een record 7 die Noord-Transval op Loftus. Dat is Michael de Plessie wat niet gelukkig voelt nie. Hy hou vast hier aan zijn rechterboobien. Hy het so'n beetje aandacht gehad. Misschien een harde hou, lamboot of iets. Kobus Kirsten maak vast. Christus Bangenberg wordt een beetje afgesneden. Zwak aangeven naar Johan Jennis. Doet Jon Kostijs en wat niet vooral onder beheer kan krijgen. En dat voelde de geleentheid van Noord Transval daarmee in. Maar daar die bal wat Robert de Preet op die achterspelers van Westelijke Fonsie geschopt het. Was een prachtige schop op die rechte plek geplaatst. En onmiddellijk was die Noord Transval achterlijn gevaarlijk met daar die aanval van hulle. Die kwartling van Noord op liever van die westelijke provincie. Rian Kuis. Daar is naast Bota wat gestraft gaan word. Naast Bota wat gaan gestraft word. Lijkt het voor mij voor een laat vat. Scheidsrechter moet baie, baie hard gesels. Daar was een feis hou wat geswaai is. En die strafskop word nou toe gekeer aan Noord Transvaal. Vervuil spel. Rian Kuis wat die bal hier gaan skop. En naast Bota die man wat inkom. Hy hoog pad op hom. Strafskop toe ken aan Noord-Transvaal is omdat Goos so'n linker uitverstoot het na naast Bota. Johan Jennings wat gaan palen te skop. Een jaar reeds 42 strafdoele in Karibeka Rukbiet is nie palen weer gejaag Johan Jennings. Kan die telling gelijk op maak. geleden begin het Sí. 
Klaas Vouw was zo'n piekje, hij vraagt om in te komen. Er is het moet zijn dat die best wel wordt, want die pak voor spelers als ze die tempo van nou houden, ze zullen in jullie eerste 7, 8 minuten speel, maar ja, 80 minuten is nog ver, maar moet er wat heel wat stadiger is om bij die breekpunten te komen en ook in die pas te los in te komen. Zwakbal wat uitkomt aan de WPC kant, maar het was aan het keer fout, die aanslag in de lijn staan door Noord-Transvaal. Van Rian Goostalk, Schipskop als hij hier van een gebal krijgt. Het, onze de briljante rechtrekvertoning gezien die Artrans Vals 120 span. En dat was zo 20 minuten, zo kwartier voor die einde. Was er nog achter met 11-3. En uiteindelijk slagen we daar om te winnen met 24 punten 10 voor 11. Alle geluk aan Dirk Grolaar in zijn span. Wat die 120 trofee dan in gevallen met. Was aan het keer voor die westelijke provincie, Freddy van Arabel. De bal wat hij wil optellen, die aangeslaan zijn meneer Smit Velten. In elke span is het natuurlijk belangrijk als je druk toepast om punten te krijgen. Alle in het finaal op die karibeker. Een westelijke provincie wat hier de eerste tien minuten. De zon hem goed beginnen. Zal goed van de krijg van Noord-Transvaal is bezig om momentum op te bouwen. Goeie scrum hier Noord-Transvaal naast Bota van onder Brakjes. Maar het lijkt altijd op hij zoveel tijd het. En een jacht weer weer bij een ver terug. Ervaren van 139 wedstrijden achterom. van die WP wat Noord-Transvaal afneem, Robert de Preer. Aanschrijven wat zijn knieën moet dra. Dat kan een goede schap worden van Robert de Preer. Ja, dit is misschien die verschil tussen de beste provincie in Noord-Transvaal met Robert de Preer, wat ook een sterk speler is om langs kop uh, veld af te jagen naast Bota en Johan Jennis. En in die beste provincie kan misschien net Rian Gous wat werkelijk een sterk voet heeft. Ja, dat het begin... Met die bal wat Noord-Transvaal af te nemen, dat die WPS zijn aangegooi. Die slag maakt WPS zeker, Rian Goos, van zo'n 10 meter van zijn doelijn af. Treft een van die fotografen hier langs die veld. Wat Vrom wil afnemen, scheidsrechter zijn nee, hij gaat gestraft worden. Nummer 5, voor de Willier Visser. Dus ja, ik denk dit is wat ons daar gezien het, is die verschil tussen die vertolking in Ereel in Zuid-Afrika en die interna internationale vertolking waar die spelers toegelaten worden om terug te stappen, die elkaar te stampen en dan te springen. Johan Jonas zit weer een tijd palen toe. Was Karsten en Nilugo wat terugstap. Een keer gesprek tussen die slot en die haker. Aandacht bij die borrelen van Jods. En die oorspel uit in die kwa, Johan Jonas. Lenke is daar, maar die richting is niet daar niet. Die loskakel, man dat op Freiburg geboren is. Daar op gymnasium, daar op deze school gegaan. Hier Hugo wat probeert terug te klap. Het 
doel voor Porto Corri. Wordt transval wat zien we niet uit. Misschien bijna die bal in die handen krijg. Maar het was een aanstaand scheidsrechter wacht voor voordeel. Dat is niet voldoende voordeel. En wordt transval waar die bal kan aangooien. Spannen wat ze pakken voorspelers in elkaar en klim. Denk ik is het belangrijk dat die span wat misschien zij zelf beheersen gaan bouwen en zelf discipline gaan uitoefenen. Is die span wat op jou in misschien daar die karibeker van een ontvangst gaan nemen. Twee strafdoelen die Noord Transval al bij de Johan Jennis. Een strafdoel die de westelijke provincie die Rian Goos. Die inschop van Johan ja, van, van Rian Goos is te diep. Daar is 20 minuten verstrekken. Noord Transval 6 punten, WP3 en hier is Hugh Bleden en Gavin Cowley voor de rest van de eerste helft. 
So it's going to be the scrum in the middle of the field. Of course, we saw the French so quickly taking a line out from a kick directly into touch. Robert de Peer just waiting for it to settle. Good solid scrum by Northerns. Puerto Ferri just tapping it forward. Buerta, all the time in the world. Difficult kick for Kurbis Bergeberg. It's gone over the tie line. So, Rion Thos will want to lift this one and let it land in field. That's a better kick. Taken by Johan Lomprecht. The tackle from Dufvisa. Worked back by Lomprecht. Western Province players going over the top. Looking at the statistics, uh, they're fairly even in the lineouts. Western Province, who started off with two great jumps by Neil Yuko. Um, the loose scrums, they also fairly even. And uh, I think at this stage, uh, more than Transvaal have certainly had the best part of the territorial advantage. Because the Ionianus lines up his his fourth kick at goal and uh, um, nice Buerta's kick there which was deep into Western Province territory I'm sure is going to be the tactic for most part of this match keep his forwards going forward 265 points he scored this season kept his head down beautifully and it paid dividends well it's very often said that uh, the side that makes the least mistakes in a final of this nature is the side that, that ultimately wins and Western Province are, are making mistakes in their, in their own uh, half of the field and that they've obviously got to eliminate if they wish to come into this game. Well, a difficult period now as Western Province must settle down. Much better kick by Hose, well taken by Abby Felden Hose. Willi Schmidt there as always to work it out. Buerta. Seeing the open spaces so nearly an interception. This is keeping all. Very good tackle by Michael Dupasin, JJ van der Bolt. But the referee calling them back for the knock-on. Charlie Maria was up there. Very good tackle by Michael Dupasin. Gets so fired up, does Michael for these games, Papa Knutza next to him. Ferreira, Schaus, the long one to Duplessis. Scuba's in the back line of Pern Gathering. Robert de Peer's there with cover. This is Spannenbach. Hans Breva, the Western Province fullback. Slotted in nicely in place of Collar Scores, whom we wish a happy and good recovery from his injury. And you can see the scrum is pretty even. No tight heads as yet. Those front rows will certainly know they've been in a game when they go to bed tonight. It's a little slippery underfoot. There was rain earlier in the week, but the ball is just taking time to settle. Tremendous pressure on their backs and necks, but they are as straight as anything, both sides. Buerta. It's a good left footed torpedo, this by Nas Buerta. And just going a little bit too far. Francie Miller, the touch judge, right on the spot. And the ball was just out. Short line out called by Western Province. Neil Hufo and Fat Small in there. Nice work by Hufo and well anticipated by Uli Schmidt. Berger Felden is coming away with it. Lively play by Robert de Freer. And I'm sure he wanted to keep that kick in field, but Berger Felden has loosened that ball. Robert de Freer read the play magnificently as he saw Berger had the opportunity of giving him the ball on the short side. First Curry Cup final 
for Andrew Patterson. The team catches not too regularly in those lineouts. Tremendous competition. Looking for the drop. It was a bit too hurried. The chase coming from John Westhuizen. An awkward ball for Hans Grebauer. There's a lot of pressure from Spannenbach and Westhuizen. I'm sure Hans Grebauer is going to have a lot more pressure put on, on him this afternoon uh, with Lars Boerder hoisting balls onto him. And in fact, uh, he hasn't done it up until now. interesting to see Nars Boerte actually running the ball from inside his own 22 and he'd read the play well. That's Johan van Lamplecht, De Prea, Boerte, Spannenbach, a little bit of a mix-up with him. Johan Fjernes pressure from Papa Knutza and that kick by Fjernes, a very useful one. Well, there's a man who played in the first test match against the international team and scored a try in his debut, Papa Knutza. Jump there by Dufkasa, Pereira, Faus. And that's all one reads these really, just to make sure that you find your touches in those situations. Woody Van Pereira battling to keep have his voice heard above the roar of the crowd. Charles Conn gathering, Lumpert is very quick on to it, Robert Dupria. Carl Duplessis, Michael Duplessis, Knutza. A little bit of indecision there in handling, perhaps the players are still a bit tense. We've seen it happen a couple of times with the players, the ball has gone to hand, but the players just tending to look up at the vital moment. I think there's a little bit of a misunderstanding with some of the moves which have been called by both back lines and maybe the, the noise of the crowd is not uh, enabling them to, uh, to be able to communicate with their fellow players. And a free kick to Western Province for Robert De Pierre not putting that ball into the scrum straight. And we have some of the reserves. There's Dr. Augie Cohen, who's also been on tour with the Springboks, was in the tour to New Zealand with South African side. minutes gone and West Northern Transvaal leading nine points to three all penalties good play by Robert Dupria beautifully passed to Buerta that was Kippi Nell Pereira and too far by Pereira just a nice little pat from Uli Schmidt there on his back nice little bit of sportsmanship that's one thing that Uli Schmidt does do and that's enjoy his rugby whether he's in the thick of things or throwing the ball in the line out or patting Freddie Pereira on the back he certainly enjoys his rugby Fisser with a sweatband, Charlie Marais, that's small, big loose forwards. Good jump at the back of the line out by that small, taken in by Charlie Marais, Ferreira, a little bit of space on the short side, and just moving the Western Province towards forward. That was good thinking by Freddie Ferreira to keep the ball on the ground there after the previous kick which uh, flew into the stand wasn't able to control it properly good jump by Audrey Feldenhuis Schmidt, Robert De Pere. again good pressure from the Western Province forwards Robert De Pere had to hoist them a little bit higher than that or let his fly half have the ball Control, support from Fert Small, good ball for Ferreira, this is Tian Strauss, tackled by Berger Feldenhuis, referees indicated a penalty to Western Province, waiting for the advantage, Ferreira, close, Knutza, Duplessis, and the two Western Province centres are a little bit hesitant, but the referee has brought them back for the penalty. That penalty was given for offside, 
yards there on the Northern Transvaal side as Tion Strauss barged into uh, into that that loose mall there. Um, Nas Boerta a little bit earlier on as we see the two Duplessis brothers talking to each other there and uh, it seems that the indecision amongst the backs continues on both sides. But uh, talking of Tion Strauss and, and Kurt Small in particular, we saw on at least three occasions thus far tremendous charges by them at Nas Boerta. Obviously looking to unsettle the Springbok fly half. He'll want to keep his head down on this one. A vital kick. He's done it well. He's done it well. Well, I'm sure Rian Kloss is, uh, in fact, uh, surprised a number of people today. I know a lot of people felt that he... Uh, he might be a little unsure in a game of this nature and I mentioned a little earlier that uh, hopefully he wouldn't find the atmosphere too intimidating and he certainly hasn't. He's, he's had a tremendous game up until now and looked very cool and calm under pressure. Well, he had a lot of practice in the semi-final last week. He had 17 kicks of goal. Good play by Johan Lamprecht, taken in there by Tian Strauss. Ferreira, close. Sayers John West has in the top of the top of the in there. Close gain in to lend a hand. Johan Lomprecht there for Northern Transvaal. It was a particularly good effort by little Dion West has in there in, in uh, maintaining, uh, keeping, keeping the ball in his hands and staying on his feet, which is a the most important thing in rugby, of course. Audrey Feldenhuis beating Hugo to the tap. Guerta with the hoist to the left foot. Carl Duplessis, nicely taken. Scriva well positioned. And that's a great kick by Hans Scriva. And he's also played fly half for Eastern Province. Also in his first Curry Cup final. of the Western Province players never played in the Curry Cup final and only one on the Northern Transvaal side. That's Chris Close, their tight head prop. They haven't used Adolf Malone too much but they do now. Coming through quickly was Charlie Maria. Again the referee indicating that there was barge and I think a double infringement as Charlie Maria came through offside there from the tap. Last Boerte entrusted with the kick. seems to have come through the game uh, thus far but in the first half virtually finished unscathed with that injury of his and uh, I know a lot of people were concerned about that stomach injury of his but he looks quite comfortable out there good jump by Neil Hugo he's done very good work at the front of the line out Pereira close with a lot of pressure from Johan Lamprecht he's having to get those kicks in quickly Western Province just leaning the line out count by three. Taken in by Berger, Thaldenace, the quick feed. Guerta, a lot of time to drop kick this time. He was able to look up at the poles. Is this good? Is it good? Yes, it is. Well, Nas Guerta played 142 games for Northern Transvaal and only been on the losing side 16 times. Quite a remarkable record. Some interesting stats quoted in Ed Griffiths's book, just simply called Nas. Out it, out it comes here to Robert Dupree, and Nas, under lots and lots of pressure, just coolly drops this goal from virtually the halfway line, and, uh, well, I call him a near drop, and he certainly is. Northern Transvaal leading by 12 points to 6 with this kick in now, and uh, Northern Transvaal fairly solid there. Nas Boerte again having a lot of time. Now look at the distance he's starting to get to these punts. Playing in his ninth Curry Cup final. A quite remarkable record. Only bettered by Berger Feldenhuis. Playing in his 11th final, would you believe? Well played against Davais, the self same Berger Feldenhuis. Robert Dupree seeing that there was a bit of space, but Hans Scriver beautifully positioned.
Jonas and Guerta, a little bit of a mix-up, but Jonas reading the play beautifully. Nice play by the Springbok fullback. And a good clearance kick by Dion Wersthausen. Positioned himself very well from the right wing. Just four minutes to go in the first half. We haven't had inj any injury stoppages. Divfisser going up there, but they closed up. Divfisser moving back quite markedly before Andrew Patterson threw the ball in, so it's going to be a free kick to Northerns. Mars Buerta just calling for the ball and saying, let me put you down in an attacking position. And so well judged, almost like a putt. Divfisser had moved back as Andrew Patterson threw and so uh, just closing up in the line out. The control of Guerta with that free kick was quite incredible. He's uh, placed the northern side just some five metres from the, the Western Province line and uh, that's not an easy thing to do from that position. Oh, De Feldenhuis just having a change of gear. The best attacking position for either side in a little while. Neil Hugo, Andrew Patterson just holding the throw back nicely to let his lock get into position. Look at the pressure on Hose. JJ van der Bolt, nicely taken by him. Hjernes, lots of time for the drop, but he hasn't hit it well. Spearbear is back for it. He hasn't found his touch either. This time is JJ van der Bolt in possession. A lot of Western Province players there for the tackle. Robert de Pria, heavy tackle from Dutfusa. Dufusa flew into him so hard that the ball just spouted out of his hands. One must say the territorial lead, West North Northern Transvaal, having a little bit the better of the game, but the loose scrums even. That time, Freddy Ferreira again looking up just at the wrong moment. Not easy to keep a cool head in these circumstances. Unbelievable atmosphere. Good scrum by Western Province there as they wielded and spoiled the Northern Transvaal ball. A lot of pressure on Chris Post from Corpus Kirsten. It's a more solid scrum by Northern's Buerta. Looking on the outside, Spannenberg can't get it as Jonas comes in, tackled by Carlo Dupassi. Spannenbach almost with the interception. This is Kippy Nell, but the referee's whistle gone. One doesn't blame the players for continuing to play because it's not easy to hear anything with this noise. Well, you can see that Northern Transvaal have had the advantage at the scrums. They've been in possession. Western Province just making a few handling mistakes. Maria feeding Ferreira. Duplessis, his first real clear touch of the ball. He's really played so brilliantly this season. Charlie Maria, support from Tian Strauss, wins it beautifully for Western Province. Birger Heldene is going forward for Northerns. He wasn't offside. Trying to hand off Andrew Patterson. Support from Johan Lamprecht. Well taken in there by Gert Small. And eventually Professor Carl Nibot's flag goes up on the far side. You mentioned just now De Villiers Fiss's tackle and uh, in fact I think that's been a feature of this first half has been the tackling in general but certainly the tackling of the forwards. Well robbed by Charlie Maria. Ferreira. So much pressure. The other transfers offside. Last quarter came forward too quickly. So just seconds to go in the first half. Will Western Province have time to take the kick get themselves in an attacking situation and make use of it. And Carl Duplessis just asking Rion Khos, can you go for poles? Rion Khos saying, I think it's a bit too far, but being talked into it by his skipper. Well, it's certainly in this stage of the game, good captaincy. I'm, if Carl was really thinking about it, he let Khos kick them down into position and then the, for the referee's whistle to go for half-time. So a very good tactical move by the province skipper. Enormous experience. Two from two, and if he gets this, the card will go dilly. He's hit it pretty well.
well, you said I don't think had the distance. It was just to the left-hand side of the uprights. Huerta trying to run back for advantage for Northern Transvaal. There we have it, Gavin. Northern Transvaal really having the ascendancy territorially. Four penalties they've had a goal. Then the drop by Nasport. Johan Jonas was successful with three of them. What do you think, Gavin? Yeah, the game has been incredibly tight uh, up front. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, the, the tackling, I think, has just been a feature of this first half. And the, the general play, unfortunately, the backs have been a little indecisive. But uh, overall, I think that first half definitely went to Northern Transvaal. And just one last point to mention, Rion Kosa's enormous attempt there with that kick, I think, is a good cue to Coral Duplessis because he can kick them from, from inside his own half. There's no doubt about that. Well, 12 points to 6, Northern Transvaal lead. And we will be back for the second half. Yes, yeah, I think in the links down there is the new Lifu and for all after the Charlie Marie and Gert Small but for your ball of in and in the last crumbs what transpired was skin a big is sterker down and do but the fiscal is in the two spanner is in the group of bars by the where the fact that no transpired basis near the break mark was the afterlane and what better down and two is in the after spell best of a point see down and then was skin for me from here but long are here in the heart of here to be very hard look but was it not need that like the new transpired said drive spell for seeing to so that we're in and here is a zoom to see that the gun for the last day of the Adrie Gelderen is brilliant to work for North Transvaal. Krijg die ondersteuning van sy voorspelers. Robert de Pree wat vir hom gaan uithaal. Goeie bal terug van Aasbota. En North Transvaal is terug binnen die halfgebied van die westelike provincie. Chris, ek het vroeger gesê dat die verskil tis in die twee spanne die sterk rechtervoete van al van Naasbota en Johan Jonas en Skrimskakel Robert de Pree is in. Weer eens het ons gesien dat Naasbota neem om eenvoudig net na die Wesselbevindsie sy helte. Goeie werk dier Adolf Malan, vastgemaak Adrie Gelderhuis, krijg die ondersteuning van Heinrich Rogers. Robert de Pree, groot gaping vir hom. Wie hield hem aan die aansluiting nie, daar sit Adolf Malan. En word Transvaalse voorspelers wat werkelijk nou briljant speel en dit kan een goeie skop word hierdie. Ja, waar nu Transvaal gebruik gemaakt het van skop in die eerste 40 minuten hier in die begin van die tweede helft de Robert de Pree wat terugspeel na sy voorspelers toe en met prachtige drijfspel is hulle op die aanval en die doelijn van. Anlokkelijk die doelijn rechts op skerm. Jullie goed besit gehad. Rian Goos van Bannekans sy doelgebied. En hy wint so 10 meter veld. Nog meer Drini. Kirsten baie mooi tegen mekaar te sien. En Noord-Transvaal waar die WP so'n bykie in die slaap vang. Prachtig werk, Johan Lamprecht. Kan nie vir hom terugspeel. Noord-Transvaal het besit gehad daar van hulle wil het graag behou. Bal is nog nie uit nie, scheidsrechter sê nie. Thomas Naskram en Noord-Transvaal kan ingooi. Dit is die type bal dat jy op verdediging is wat jy onder beheer moet kry en onder beheer hou. Dank weer Johan Lamprecht. Gevaardige positie van die WP. Goed stik in aanvallende positie van Noord Transvaal. Leon Oosthuizen. Geen werk te sê, dit was een voorhand toe aangeheer. Maar is het moet sê dat Kirsten de Gouds harde benen laat kou en daar die kore geskram met hem en kou dat net binnen toe en weggepakt. Jelle seizoen en ook vanmiddag lol het maar in die skrams. Marian Goos gaan om die uitskop nie. Johan Jonas gaan stellig met die skepskop hoog en kom van die 10 meter lijn af. Die lengte is daar, die richting is nie daar nie. En Hans Kriebel wat gaan doodre. 
Diep je vastgepen van die begin van die helft af hier. Bannenkant wel een half gebied, feitelijk bannenkant wel een kwart gebied. Zes punten per school. Noordbrans vallen die voorlopers. Die Ligo wat van bijna niet aan het treden, het was aan het voet. Je hebt net even gepraat van die moeilijkheid in die vaste strams heel seizoen. Maar denk, die scheidsrechter zal moeten daarin naar kijken dat die mannen voor en toe en recht het voor en toe stram. Naast Bota, zien hier een groot gapen. Weer daar bij hulle wil he, en dan rol die bal uit. Ach, die meester. Nou ja, daar is Bota het baie toetsaal gewend en ook baie wedstrijden van Noord-Transpaal. Maar hij is bezig om absoluut een zak af te dwing met zijn spoed en plaas die bal uitsteken. Hij heeft een groot gaap om gezien. Hij heeft het benut. Dpias terug op hulle doelijn, Adolf Molan, springboks laat van Noord-Transvaal, hy gaan uitkom aan Noord-Transvaal sy kant en nou word Noorde gestraf vir stamspring in die lijn staan. Adrie Geldenhuis wat gestraf word. En hier is geleentheid vir Rian Goos om verlichting te bring vir die BP. wat eenvoudig net uit die pad uitgedrukt word met die skouwer. Die man het geneig om oor die lijn te spring en contact te maak voordat die spelers bal in die hand neem. Van ons nog een skepskop hoog gesien van Haas Bota as hy hier die bal vannacht kan kry. Andrew Patterson dink van het. Die BP wens op die die geld. Zes toetsen, altijd een gevaarlijke man, altijd de factor zijn. Chris, ja, ik moet zeggen dat die Noord-Transvaalse pak nog niet werkelijk zo scherp vertoon in hierdie wedstrijd als voor het voor die seizoen. Goeie lijn staan, bal wat gewin wordt in die BP, dat is Michael de Plessie. Prachtig weer een gapen, krijg het Charlie Marais, dat kan gevaarlijk wees. Het hy die nodige ondersteuning. Daar was de reeds aan het jaarfout, dat is hulle moet terugkom, al die geskoke spuur verniet. Michal de Plessie wat nog heel middag nie werkelijk die bal onder beheer kan kry nie, kry die bal breed binnen toe en met een groot gaping daar van die Aki dan Charlie Marijn voor en toe. Het gevaarlijk gelijk. En Norge wordt gestraf om die skram blijkbaar af te trek. Lijkt mij dat Heinrich Rodgers bijna niet. Dus die mannen hier aan die vastkopkant van Noord-Transvaal, Goos, het geval. Nou ja, het is altijd moeilijk om te zeggen of dit afgetrekt wordt of wat die oorzaak is dat die scrap aanvalt. Maar omdat Kirsten denk ik heel maandag beter dan toe was in die scrams, het die scheidsrechter vertolk dat Goos misschien met Kirsten gewoon te vernemen. Meneer Smith Welten is al so bykie moedeloos oor al die probleme in die skrams wat ons reeds vir 47 minuten gehad het. Amariaan Gouds die WP laat nader kruid. Rian 30 minuten wat kort bly. Verskil is nie 3 punte. Die Karibeker is nog lang nie gewen nie. Chris, as een mens terugkijkt na hier die eerste deel van hier die wedstrijd, nog nie werkelijk een groot hoogtepunt in hier, die skopvoet is, maar eindelijk die ding op die ommelik wat praat, nog nie werkelijk aanvallende beweging wat die doelheim aanval. Enigste vir my was hier die begin van die tweede helft het in Noord-Transval met sy gedachte afval gespeel het. Andrew Patterson het van ver teruggegooi, skuistrechter wat vir voordeel van Noord-Transval, nu wat die WP het aan teerfout begaan, En hulle kan die bal ingooi in een vaste skram, binnen kan die kwartgebied aan die WP. Ja, Noord-Transvaal wat die meeste keer...
keer het die bal in die scrums ingegooi het, het wees dat best op een functie meer fouten maak as nooit in ons val. Goed by hier, naast Bota, hier kom hy, nee, as een groot gap en kom. Jan Oosthuisen, naast Bota, is weer daar, hy vir Christus Vangenberg aan sy buitenkant. Aan de front pracht dra, goeie verdediging dier die WP, maar prachtig aanval in een spel dier Noord-Transval. Naast Bota, die WP het gewikke gaan skipskop, maar uitgeslapen speler wat hy is. Goeie verdedigingswerk hier dier Koepes Burger, wat van die rechterkant daar voorgehaard loop het om vir Spannenberg hier uit te duik. Weer toetsen gespeeld van jou voor die sprongmokke Koebersburger. Als die derde lijn staan, hier niet weer die haafte wat hier bijen aan die doeling van die WP gaan begin. Lopperansvaller het van die verkeerde kant af, Willy Schmid van die verkeerde kant af aangeduid en daar die loskram, heel te mal terug. Dus ek dink wat gebeur is dat Willy Schmid beweeg voor die middellijn van die lijn staan, voordat die bal die lijn staan verlaat het en terug het die skeisrechter om daarvoor te straf. Provincies skoppe wat nie so ver trek nie en hulle kreelen werkelijk nie self weg van hulle doel en af en skoppe nie. Bedoel vir Adrie Gelderhuis. Maar op een gevoei, op een gevoei was skeef. Ja, die skare wat lacht by Andrew Patterson wat de visser vast gehad op het en toe om sommer wil bespring het. die WPS achterlijn aan die uitskop nie Rian Gaus Johan Jenis is prachtig in positie hierdie man kan net nie een voet verkeerd sit nie dit is een moeilike bal hierdie Tian Strauss wat vir hom in wacht en met een skoon vang hy na homself center gespeel op sy daar op oorskoel speler hier op Nieuweland, Jan Strauss en om die uitskot nie, Robert de Pree skot hier tegen de Valier Visser Vas en ook Gert Smal is daarop, eindelijk Gert Smal wat vir hom in die handen krij, eerste keer dat die BP begin drijf, beskikbaar gestel Michael Duplessis, krij vir Karel Duplessis terug na Michael Duplessis Andrew Patterson is daar Jan Strauss wat vir hom al vader neem, Freddy Ferreira, Michael Duplessis in die losgaan van positie hy sien die vroedgaping, maar ek dink hy gaan te ver wees hy is ongelukkig vir hom direk uit goed bedoel ja die verskil in skoppe in hierdie wedstrijd vanmiddag is dat Noord-Transvaal hulle skop is skitterend plaas vir al naast Bota en het uitkry in Wesselbevinsie wat nie lengte het op hulle skop in nie en ook nie altijd uitskop Naast Bota gaan bykie onder druk wees maar hy verwerk dit baie goed dit probeer vir Noor van WP dit is Karel de Plessie wat vir hom inwacht gaan vir hom vastloop tegen drie Noord-Transvaal is onder andere Dion Oosthuisen en ook Burger Geldenhuis en die aanvallende positie is daar van Noord Transval, want hulle kan die bal ingooi in een vaste skrum. Goede voor u, is die onkoosthuisen wat weggestuur word, beproef aan Skriba, en goede voor u ongelukkig vir omslaan, hy die bal aan, het so baie gevaarlik gewees het. Baie foute wat gemaakt word, vooral aan teerfoute, aan al die kant. Nou, Michael, de 
Messi. JJ van der Wat, wat terug in Jaar van Wort. Maar weer een schop van die WP wat niet uit is nie. Arie Omkobus Berger kom, slaag bijna daaran. Prachtig dat die bal gelos en weer beschikbaar te krijgen. En nu zal WP zijn verdediging moeten houden. Pas het ons gezien hoe dat Johan Jennis daar die binnen aangeeft wat in het, is het teken van een vrootspeler wat die situatie kan opsom en onmiddellijk uitvijt. De beleefvisser Rian Goos, sy doel in die achtergrond. wat voorblij, slechts drie punten verschil van noord frans Val die Karibiker voor die derde achterin val van die jaar win Ja, Chris in de wedstrijd waar die punten tellen slechts drie punten verschil is is dit belangrijk, die span wat basis in hierdie laatste 20 minuten gaan punten aanteken is die span wat zoveel so makkelijker deerkom Dat is die hele paar hanteerfouten eerste hanteerfout dan weer noord frans Val. Nieuwelandse skare wat bang vast zit. Nog niet veel opwinding gehad vandaag niet. Skopje van Rian Goos. Met meer in die lucht hang. En dan spat hij terug naar Johan Jennis wat van Kreis. Een moeilijke bal voor hem. Daarom de precieze verdediging is daar. En weer bij het verveld gewin. Spelers in die lijn staan. Rian Vuis. Die gehaalde plezier. Bali Swart amper in de centerpositie. Spelers van die WP was een beetje aan elkaar zijn pad. Scheidsrechter zijn nee. Ja, op die oomlik krijg je best bevindsie basis die bal op een laag skene. En daar is niet ritme dat die mannen oor die voordelen kan komen. Van Naas Bota weer die WP ver terugjaagd met een van sy kanon skoppe. Die slag aan die handen van Kobus Burger. Hy sien een effe gaping, maar die gaping is reeds gevul weer Johan Jennis. En nou krij Van Naas Bota van binnenkant sy kwart gebied. Gaan hy om ook jou uitskop nie, Hans Kriba. Hy was buiten sy kwart gebied. Een vir jou en een vir my en Johan Jennis besluit aanvangelijke skoon vang. Geen van die spelers geleentheid om terug te kom. Juan Jennis is zeker een van die gewildste spelers thans in Zuid-Afrika. waar die strafskop aan Noordtransval toeken omdat Charlie Marais deel was van die lijn staan en toe teruggehaard het. Ja, dit is die klas van ding wat nie in die finale moet gebeur. Jy moet nie foute en jy eie helft te maak nie. Rian Goos en hier gaan Burger Geldenis op die kom Burger Geldenis en Pote Verre wat die druk heel middag nog baie goed te gepas het hier op die loskakel van Westbevinsie Rian Goos en toe Goos paskop tegen Pote Verre toe is Burger Geldenis bij om daar die drie van Noordtransvaal aan te teken Lijnstaan wat gewend word door Westbevinsie Freddy Ferreira na Goos Pote Verre nummer 8 die man tegen wie Rian het toch vastgeskopt in Burger Geldenhuis Burger Geldenhuis wat aan die bal weer onderbeheer krijg en oorval vir die eerste drie van hierdie wedstrijd 
Speel vandaag aan zijn 184ste wedstrijd. Hier die kapitein van Noord-Transvaal. Zijn 11e eindstrijd. Nu is het naast Bota. Een moeilijke schop voor hem. Er staat zoiets als een moeilijke schop van naast Bota. Hier had hij niet gemaakt. Nee. Inderdaad is het zo. De eerste drie wat ons dan zien hier in die 19e minuut van die tweede helft. Druk wat toegepast als die er Noordtrans valt. De beleef vester wat onderom probeert te komen. Oli Schmid wat terugspeel. Robert de Preem. En ongelukkig van Karo de precieze schouder af. Maar Noord-Transvaal speelt voor en toe. Noord-Transvaal wat weer binnen die halfgebied is van die westelijke provincie. De westelijke provincie wat hier in de eerste 20 minuten met vier gespeeld het. Baie van A die vier uit die span uit. Het betekent keer lijkt het alsof hulle nie werkelijk weet wat hulle met die bal moet maken. nie. En Noord-Transvaal met langskoppen hou hulle onder druk. Bedoel van Adolf Malang. Zeker om te beheer, hoe die schmid. Wat kom recht maken. Dat transvaal het bezit gaat daarvan. Hulle moet ontbouw. Karel de Plessie. Kan die van Ascriba aan bezit stel. Hij gaat met het in aanval beginnen. Verdediging van Noord transvaal is bij je goed. Wieke Doelo is weggegooid. Rian Goos. En gaan hij te ver wees. Robert de Pree wat van hem in wacht. En Robert de Preer ontwijkt de man met groot gemaakt en een ongelukkig voor hem schoppen die bal direct uit WP Ben Verveld. 20 minuten is verstreken en die tweede helft is 7 punten verschil. Noord Transvaal 16, WP 9 en voor de rest van die wedstrijd, Jo Blijden en Gavin Cowley. Midway between the halfway line and the Northern Transvaal 22, crowd getting behind Western Province. Good jump by Gert Smal, Puerto Peri was on to it, they couldn't gather it in. There you see the referee indicating quite early on that there'd been an infringement by Western Province. We've seen from the scrum stats that Western Province are knocking the ball on a lot more than Northern Transvaal. Titanic struggle there, good scrumming by Western Province. Dupria just getting away from Strauss and getting a good loading kick. He does this so effectively. Well, he's certainly getting quality possession from uh, his forwards and uh, he's making an absolute meal of it, is Robert Dupree. <laughs> Patterson trying to find Small and he does so. Charlie Murray with a good support. Pereira, close. Nice little dart inside Puerto Puri. Berger Cholmes has been a tower of strength in defence. Pereira trying to get that back. Time Western Province were going forward. Western Province ascendancy in the lineouts continue, but they really need to bring their outside backs into play and get the ball away from those three Northern Transvaal loose forwards. Pereira, they got a lot of movement on the short side. This is Scriba. That little dart inside the corner. This is Scriba again, taken in by Puerto Peri. Can Western Province get it back? No, Western Province working it back with the hands. And now Nas Puerto again with a pinpoint punt. At moments like that when Western Province are going for they're in possession and they really need to cut their mistakes out if they're going to get into the game. Well, that's certainly been one of the differences between the two sides is the kicking and uh, Northern Transvaal have kicked the balls into touch when it was required. Kat Small getting good possession at the line out a difficult ball for Ferreira. Well read by Thos, Carl Duplessis. A good kick by the province skipper. Playing in his seventh Curry Cup final today. You see Western Province still with that little 5.5 ascendancy in the lineups. 
Jan Kionis is not looking too happy. We saw that Nas Boerta took that conversion earlier, but he's definitely limping. Milan just getting the possession onto his side, taken forward by Fert Smart for Province very well. Worked it out well to Ferreira. Close. Can they do something with this ball? This is Papa Knutza. There's a sea of Northern Transvaalers in the way. Ferreira, this is good second phase. Smile nicely to their hands. Part of it to see well tackled by Berger Fellenhuis. Berger Fellenhuis getting across there so quickly. Western Province haven't been in an attacking position like this for a long time and you see the back starting to come into play now and a little bit more positive feature and positive running from Carl Duplessis, Michael Duplessis, uh, Papa Pizza and Rion Kuz. So we have Johan Fionis just receiving a little bit of attention there. He said something to the doctor and I don't know whether he said tell the reserve to warm up. <laughs> Nicely out for Western Province, Carl Lucas on the short side, Boerta was in there for the tackle, Robert De Pierre came across. And the crowd not enjoying that as the ball popped out for Western Province. And Mr Smith Belton obviously just having a word with one of the Western Province players who was complaining to him. Are they going to use Carl Lucas on this the short side, he's had such a great season, 26 tries. Trying to find Tion Strauss inside, tackled by Robert De Pere. Ferreira again. Michael Duplessis just looking up at the wrong moment. Swan and was quickly in on the tackle. Well, we've seen a little bit of handling by the Western Province backs. Michael Duplessis a couple of times has been unable to hold on to the ball. Papa Knutza also. And I, Johan Hunas is not happy at all. And we have an injury to Adolf Milan. Johan Yunus was speaking to the Northern Transvaal doctor there just now and indicating I think that he, he really needs to come off the field. He's hobbling around and uh, one would imagine that Kerbrand Krobler would come onto the field. He's of course no stranger to the fullback position. He's played there for a number of games this season. And the man who in fact played for Northern Transvaal in the final last year. Yunus was injured then. Dupier waiting. Guerta. And Gerben Krobler has in fact warmed up, so he's standing on the side of the field. There we have it. The Northern Transvaal left arm quick bowler. Not too many people represent their provinces at both cricket and rugby. Good ball by Andrew Patterson to that small Ferreira reading it nicely. He's got close in support. He's well tackled by Spannenbach. Northern's driving forward with it. Referee just indicating that the infringement for offside at that luck came after the scrum had been awarded. Twenty-seven minutes gone in the second half, sixteen points to nine, Northern Transvaal leading. Western Covens really missing that scrum up for Northern Transvaal. Referee quite clearly indicating that the scrum had swung through the 90 degrees. Western Province's scrumming has certainly improved. Holy Schmidt couldn't get his hand, foot up to that one. Difficult ball for Skriaba, well kept in by him. And a safe enough touch by Hans Skriaba, who hasn't put a foot wrong. the man who with today's nine points has scored 268 points in the season unfortunately this Newlands is not a happy hunting ground for him because you remember he came off in the test match against the international 15 and it looks like it's that same leg that's worrying him in the interim there seems to be a bit of a problem with uh, Andrew Patterson's hand as he sluggishly came to that line out there and uh, we have the medical attendants on the field looking quite interesting to see with Hans Skriaba with that return. Passport had kicked it down and uh, Robert De Pere, the same thing. They're gaining a lot of ground in Western Province, just not kicking or running it back with enough effect. Good jump by Audrey Feldenace, Robert De Pere. Very few 
few players will be in rubber studs on this surface. Nice jump by Neil Hugo, Kroos, Michael Duplessis. He's had a few opportunities to run. He runs at Boerte that time, feeding Papa Knutza. You see the sea of North blue jerseys around the ball carrier. Ferreira, Kroos, Dupria, as so often happens, he's there in the thick of things with the tackle. Nicely fed out by Bali Swart. This is Neil Hugo. That small trying to take the drive on, picked up by Lamprecht, well taken by Buerta. Bari Swart took an awful smack there. This is Hans Skriba. And so Bali Swart is down. Bali Swart, just as he got his feet in for the pass there, took an awful knock from one of the Northern Transvaal players. So he was not really expecting it. Looks as if that knock is somewhere around about Bali Swart's midriff and uh, he looks like he's in quite a lot of pain. It certainly gives Western Province uh, a little bit of a breather and uh, one hopes that he doesn't go off the field as we see Guy Kebble warming up there in the event that Bali Swart might need to go off the field. Well, a man who played in the final last year, Guy Kibble, so it's interesting that both the replacements, if Kibble does come on, and Bali Swart looks like he's recovering a little bit, but we have Cabron Frobler at fullback for Northern Transvaal, and Bali Swart, I think it looks like his ribs have given him a lot of trouble. Unfortunate for this tight hit hip head prop. So will this be a turning point in the game for Western Province? They started to scrum very well. And look at that for Guts, he in fact hasn't gone off. Adi Cholonez going high, good ball to Ferreira, close, Duplessis, they're trotting very slowly. Roblo with his first touch of the ball, well taken by him. Robert Dupier was a little bit in the way, so he couldn't get his kick in. This is Corbis Kirsten. Willie Schmidt is there, taken on by Bali Swart. Willie Schmidt was there in an outside position. This time, Kurbis Kirsten has gone to ground as he went on the charge, so the Western Province front rank is really in the wars. Well, Western Province are placed with a difficult situation. Yes, Kurbis Kurbis Kirsten gets to his feet, and that must be one tremendous relief for Coral de Plessis because uh, he certainly can't lose both his front rankers at this stage of the game. Well, it'll be interesting to see Carl Duplessis just on the right of the picture. Here we see with the incident with Bali Swart. As he gets into possession now, and just watch the tremendous smack he takes as he gets that pass in. He was coming through, you see, he lifted his hands up above it to bring the tackle in, and then got a smack in the ribs, as his ribs must have taken a tremendous amount of pressure from that tackle. Rion Chaus with his... For six kick at goal. Is it good? Is it good? Is can it just keep inside? Four out of five. And we have eight minutes left. We've had a bit of injury time. Just eight minutes left and four points the difference. And Bali Swat, unfortunate for him, I think, deciding that uh, under a little bit of pressure from his captain. A tremendous cheer for Guy Kibble. He's not a regular tight header, is Guy Kibble. He plays loose head for most of the time. Played at loose head prop in the Curry Cup final last year. He will remember having scrummed against Jan Locke pretty well. Lumpet again and in there for Northern Transvaal too well. Robert Tapia comes away with it. Robert Tapia scagged by Freddy Ferreira. JJ from the Baltic Cross and couldn't gather the ball in. Once again, Western Province under pressure yeah, and uh, they really need to get away from this, this position. Very little time left in this match. Close. See how quickly Robert de Pere was up there. Buffett commits it was, he couldn't gather it in. The referee waiting at advantage as Lumpet takes it forward. That's Robert de Pere, scragged by Duffus Abuerta. 
Kipinel, De Fissa, good tackle, Buerta positioned himself well, Gerbrand, Kobler, Uli Schmidt, tackle from Gert Smell, JJ van der Belt with an opportunity, trying to stay in field. The referee called him back, no, it wasn't a full pass, the touch judge in fact had his first back, that's so what the touch judge going to say here. Refuge is calling Berger Feldenhuis over and having a word with him, so it could be a penalty to Western Province. A little bit of an infringement off the ball there. A touch judge on the far side from Eastern Province, Mr. Francie Muller, an A section referee. Kurbis Berger, who hasn't had a great uh, one clean run all day today, with the penalty. Goethe is there. Good touch finder, Goethe with a quick run to JJ van der Bolt and just gaining a bit of ground for Northern Transvaal. Good thinking by the Northern Transvaal backs. <laughs> Dupria, Goethe. Again, he'll drive Western Province back. Going in quickly as worst as in Skriabir is there, Hippinol was there, Spannenberg gets the possession, support from Puerto Puri. And that must be a put into Northern Transvaal. Herbrun <laughs> Frobler has sneaked up on the short side. So will he get the feet from the scrum half? No, Buerta looking up and he just did that one but he just didn't follow through quite enough with it. Maybe those stomach muscles are giving him a bit of a hard time It just follow through not quite there. That booing from the crowd is most unfortunate uh, as Lars Buerta took that drop kick at goal and... Uh So the sands of time running out for Western Province with four minutes to go. Kelden Ace is there for the tap. Oh, oh, will they use Fats Mull at the back because they need to loosen the play up a bit. Hufo has been very effective at number two. Andrew Patterson can hardly hear Woody Bun Ferreira. De Fisse is there with a the tap taken down by Tion Strauss. He works it back well, Ferreira, Faus. Back foot is tipping now, Michael De Fisse gathered in beautifully. Wonderful pass to Charlie Moreau, but he couldn't gather it in. Tipping now was there again, Carlo De Fisse. Referee just waiting for a bit of advantage, it could come from the Western Province side. In goes Kyrgyz Kirsten, fighting for it is uh, Andrew Patterson, Kirsten in possession. Kirsten working, running his way out of the situation, tackled by Dion Wersthausen. Western Province must get this ball back quickly, but it was Ardley Feldenhuis who went in to get from Northern Transvaal. Scrum to Western Province. Four points the difference. So they need a try. Can they do something with this ball? Berger Thelonais came out pretty, very quickly. Michael Duplessis, Papa Knutza, looking to kick three Northern Transvaal players, scragging them. Northern Transvaal very quickly to the point of breakdown. Kurbis Berger went in to get possession for Western Province. And again, it's Western Province ball. Well, the indecisiveness amongst the backs continues, you and I. I think you and I have mentioned that on a number of occasions today. The Western Province backs catching the ball standing still. Ferreira, they've got a lot of players in support. Here. Scriber who darted into the back line. Michael Dukasi trying to get Carl away. Very good tackle by Jim Oster. Michael Dukasi, Tian Strauss diving for the line. Great tackle by Berger Hellenace. Can they hold him out? Well, it's Western Province ball again. Well, that was better running by the Western Province backs. Hans Scriber snooped into the back line. Michael Duplessis got it very quickly to his brother. But the cover from Northern's held out. Now there's a huge team 
talk going on by Western Province the backs trying to decide what to do. I'm sure there are a few ideas there. Charlie Maria, Michael Duplessis, they left well close up. Michael Duplessis trying to run over the advantage line. He retains the possession. And the referee indicating there was a knockout and again it's Western Province ball. Well, can Northerns hold out and can Western Province come up with something brilliant? It was good thinking there from Freddy Ferreira, who actually missed out fly post straight to Michael Duplessis at centre to get the big charge down the middle. Michael Duplessis on the short side again. Carlo Duplessis comes in beautifully. Good tackle by Lampe. Puerta Ferri goes in, as does Tian Strauss. And this is Papa Knitza. Last Puerta is in there with a the tackle. Flat small driving for the line. Can West Province get this one back and dodge over? They've got a lot of space on the outside. Freddy Ferreira trying to work it back. Get it back from Western Collins, win the whip pitching again. Well, there was some good tackling there by Northern Transvaal as well as Kurt Small drove for the line. Johan Lampecker was prominent. Look at the crowd. Look at all those white and blue jerseys. Ferreira, Duplessis is so often in position. Can we on first become the hero of the moment? Tion Strauss goes in. And again. Well, there's absolute bedlam here. Carlo Dupacy making his way in the good. Northern Transvaal just couldn't last under the pressure. Pereira now with the ball out to, to Michael Duplessis and uh, with lots and lots of room outside there, Carlo Duplessis takes the skip pass and, and over he goes and finally the pressure's told on Northern Transvaal. They defended gamefully there but unfortunately they couldn't hold out. And there we see Michael Duplessis pass which goes straight out to his brother Carl. And how fitting that the Western Province captain should score this try into injury time. Rion close with the conversion. The score, of course, now is 16 all. Well, and who would want this sort of pressure? The youngest player in the Western Province side, the least experienced, has never played in a Curry Cup final before. But can he become the hero at the moment? If this goes over, Bedlam will run. And it's just floating away. Just they started to go straight, and then just a bit of a slice on it. 16 points all. Well, the only time Lars Puerta came close to losing a Curry Cup final was here when in the dying moments of the game, he kicked a drop to make it 15 all. And here we see the try again. Unbelievable pressure from Western Province. Now watch Fafa Knutza here. Michael Duplessis gets the ball. He gives a long ball. Fafa Knutza puts his hands up to take it. And at the opportune moment, just lets it go by. Brilliant play by the three Springboks. It was a deep kickoff by Northern Transvaal. Drop out to Western Province. He tries to get some ground. Has he given last word there enough time to try a drop? Oh, and it's so sad about That foot is found out. Dipfissel with a great tackle. Dion Wersthausen. Has this gone too far? Well taken by Carlo Duplessis. Got all the time in the world. Lou Smith is up there. And making sure this time. What an unbelievable comeback by Western Province. They won ball after ball after ball. And eventually the pressure told. Northern Transvaal looked like winners right until the last five minutes. 16 points all. Yep, and Carly, what a game. Unbelievable, you. And if you look at the scenes here at Newlands with the crowd charging on. My, the first face I saw after that final whistle was De Villiers Fisser and uh, with his hands on his knees <clears throat> and I think that epitomizes just what these players have been through today. At the end of the day, Western Province, perhaps a little bit lucky at the end of the day, but they certainly made their luck and uh, a fantastic game of rugby. Well, we'll be back for the presentation of the Cup and back to the studio for the moment. Die wedstrijd is aangebied door Santam Bank. Die bank met gouden diensten. Net hier aan Topsport terug naar Nieuwland voor de overhandiging van die karrieleder.
and they will be handing the curry cup over to both the captains, Carl Duplessis and Birger Geldenhuis, as the crowd have massed around onto the field. There you see this magnificent crowd, an unbelievable atmosphere. I don't think I've ever seen Bedlam quite like it when Carl Duplessis scored that try. Perhaps when Fuchi van Heerden scored his try. And coming forward, Birger Geldenhuis playing in his 11th Curry Cup final. What an unbelievable record. Will that ever be broken? Carl Duplessis, who scored 27 tries in the season, just one short of Gerry Germersheis' record, although he set a record of 19 tries in the Curry Cup. The Golden Cup played for since 1892. Western Province have won it 29 times, and Northern Transvaal 15. Of course, remembering that Northern Transvaal is a younger union. And in the last 10 years, these two sides have competed for the Curry Cup in the final eight times. They haven't played against each other every time. The only three provinces to come into the situation were Free State and Natal and twice Transvaal. But they've certainly dominated South African rugby. Carlo Duplessis holding it up. I think the Western Province players feel a little bit like they got out of jail. They were under tremendous pressure, being driven back all the time. But when it counted, they came back. And this was what put the scores level. The feed from Freddy Pereira, the long pass. I'm so impressed with Fafa Kluza leaving that ball. Carl Duplessis in for his 19th try. What a great season. So there we have it. You see Western Province did very well in the lineouts. Neil Hugo was a tower of strength at number two. And when they used the back, they were also effective. The loose scrums, the loose forwards, so even. In the scrums, Northern Transvaal put the ball in a little bit off, more often. There were no tight heads taken at all. And you can see the penalty count. Nobody can be really upset. The referee, I thought, had an extremely good day. It's a difficult ground okay. to referee because the crowd is a little bit partisan. But in, at the end, a tremendous comeback by Western Province. Northern Transvaal really controlled the ball young Rion Khos kicked some very good goals he only missed one kick a penalty in the first half and then he missed that glory maker of the conversion 16 points all an absolutely unbelievable day tremendous atmosphere and how wonderful to have rugby in South Africa such as this Gavin your final thoughts on the game well I think it's perhaps appropriate at the end of the day that uh the result was a draw because these two teams have certainly dominated the Curry Cup this season and uh, we saw some outstanding rugby today particularly from the forwards uh, a lot of unfortunately errors amongst the back line but uh, so it wasn't a spectacle uh, from that point of view but uh, at the end of the day I think there were some outstanding performances individual performances as well and uh, if we look at uh, at Nice Borders pinpoint kicking Rion Coast satisfied I think with a, with a good performance today uh, unfortunately he missed that last conversion but that's what happens in a game of rugby it was an absolutely fantastic game and uh, I'm sure everybody present here and at home enjoyed it well as I say I think Western Province very happy with the draw eventually Northern Transvaal so so close and they were just unable to hold out a buzzing a buzzing and a happy Newlands we return to studio